All right, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day so far. If you guys are new, please subscribe. I post every other day as much as possible. This is my 2000 MR2 Spider case swap with the hard top. I'm, I'm in love with this thing. I just, I keep looking at it. Thanks for the amazing feedback that I got in the previous video. Um, you guys seem to love it. I know I'm gonna pay, I'm not gonna leave it. It's not something I would do, come on guys. But um, today, I'm gonna be installing some interior pieces. The first thing is, is that for the K2 shifter, now, um, I'm not sure, a lot of you guys may not have seen the video, but it's um, the RSX K2 shifter. I'm not sure if you guys can see it in there. I can't, but, ooh, it looks beautiful. A lot, a lot of you guys ask, a lot of you guys ask what that shifter is. It's an RSX, um, a shifter for an RSX. Um, it's case swap, it works on the 1ZZ, 2ZZ if you do the right mods to it. But I made a whole video on that, so check that out on my channel after this one. Um, but I'm gonna be adding some K2 shifter stops. That way I can slam gears without having to worry about breaking anything. Um, and then also I'm gonna be installing some interior pieces. So I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. And here we go. Um, K-tuned build shifter shifter stops so I installed them already they're really easy it comes with four allen screws as well as a shifter stop so it's those actual bars right here and basically they limit they limit the shifter from going any further so it'll be like so if you guys look it actually limits the shifter from going so listen to it So it'll actually limit it. It'll actually limit the shifter from going all the way there. Just so you don't tear any cables. If you guys don't remember, actually I was at autocross with my stock shifter and it actually pulled the cable so far out that it ripped it out because of the short shifter. So I went ahead and installed those shifter stops. I'll put the link in the description below. It's just a quick add-on. So if you guys have this KT shifter, go ahead and add it on. Alright guys, so we got um, some interior mods to do. Now, of course, you know the Sparco, um, of course, the, the K2 shifter um, that's here, um, as well as the Hard Dog Racing, um, the Hard Dog Roll Bar right there. Um, and of course, the hard top that we installed in the last video. Now, with all that said and done, with the shifter stops you just saw installed, I'm going to be installing the facelift HVAC control. So there are slight differences if you look at this one. So it has dots, no trim. This one has more a more modern look. It's a little bit cleaner. Um, instead of not, um, instead of dots, it has lines uh, with a kind of a silver trim on it. Um, and it, in my opinion, it looks a little bit better here. Um, so I'm gonna be installing that. It's pretty easy. Um, so the first thing is, let me go ahead and move this. All about the details that can just pull this off. I believe that's how it should be, um, unless my car is just uh, unless my car is just broken or something. But then I guess it just comes off like that. And then there's two bolts, one on this side, one on that side, and then it should just be tabs. Um, all right, so you can probably use a trim pry tool. I just put my fingers back here and then pulled it firmly. Uh, and then there are, there is a clip, like I said, like I guessed for the clock here. And once you remove that, once you remove that, it should just come off like that. And then we can go ahead and put the new one on. It's pretty easy, right? Just like you removed it. There you go, clips in. Honestly, you don't even need those screws, but there you go, and then uh, I'm not sure if the knobs are any different, but I'll go ahead and put the ones that he included. Um, he as in Kung, the guy who actually sold me the hard top with all my exhaust stuff. Again, he gave me this too, so super, super nice. Um, putting this on, all right. And then the last one here, there we go. Oh man, that looks good. All right, and then we And 
install this. So basically the way this got, gets re removed is there's a slot here. You put it up and put it on and then push it all the way through. And then once you do that, it clips in and that's how you do it. So there you go. Wow, that looks good. Man, that looks clean. Pretty big difference in my opinion. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate all of your guys' support. If you guys are new, please subscribe. Um, it really, really helps me out. We're almost at 5K, 5,000 subscribers. I never thought I'd be saying that number, but really appreciate you guys. See you guys in the next one. Peace out, and let your passion drive you.